Hi, and welcome to my first study bin session. So the ideal behind this series is to record my own art studies and while I'm increasing my skill, uh, while also opening the doors to help others learn at the same time. So our first session is everybody's oh so favorite hand studies. Yay. So specifically for this one, the rotation of the hand. For this, I actually took a video of my own hand for reference. Uh, I then took screenshots of different keyframes of the video so I could use it while drawing. Feel free to also use it as a reference if you would like to follow along with me, or even take a video of your own hand doing different poses that you would like to learn specifically. So the thing I wanted to learn from this specific session was to draw a hand turning over so I could understand it in a more 3D perspective. Uh, the, the thumb specifically, like, it moves closer to the camera as it turns, so it forced myself to do a little bit more of a foreshortening study at the same time, which is something that I struggle with quite a lot. The first step was to rough sketch out each pose that I had keyframed. Nothing is done to be completely accurate, um, but you can see I generally rough out the shape of the palm first and then draw in all the joints when I draw the fingers. It doesn't fit as close to the reference, uh, but the gesture is specifically what I was trying to go for. I'll do a, f a study of feminine and masculine hands further down the road in another video. Obviously the reference I used was of my own hand, so it is a feminine hand. Because I drew all the joints in as much as I did, it tends to look a little bit more rough and masculine than I uh, originally intended. So here I've finished sketching out all my keyframes and I've started compiling them all below, just adjusting the size of them so that they're roughly the same so I can test and see how my poses look when animated. Uh, there is a tutorial on my channel that shows you how to animate in Photoshop. If you're using a different program, you might have to look up whether or not they do animation. Otherwise you can save all your images and use them in a video editing program to kind of do the same thing. There's a few inconsistencies with my own hands when I had here, mostly around the wrists. Uh, as you can see, it's not exactly like perfect, but the actual fingers and palms are pretty much what I was hoping for. So I didn't focus on fixing anything else for this study as the wrist and how it connects is going to have to be a study on all on its own, uh, as it's something that I struggle with quite a lot. So for the last part of this study, I took one of my natural resting poses and decided to color the sketch. Uh, so I put a base color underneath the sketch layer and then lighting uh, was put over the top and then basic shadows were added. The sketch itself was recolored to a more pink or reddish tone so that it could blend in with the painted details a lot easier and I didn't have to get rid of the sketch, it could actually add to the, the overall image. It's generally pretty messy for the majority of painting, so it'll be a little bit messier until it's cleaned up, especially around the edges. It's still a little bit too rough for it to really match my own hand, obviously, because I, I still did draw all the joints and everything in quite a lot, and it's not... 100% accurate, but you know, uh, but the foundation on what my hand looks like overall is pretty much like the, the main goal of this one. So I guess more gestural and understanding at least how the hand works to some degree uh, was the goal for this one.
I did a follow-up of another hand afterwards using one of the poses directly from my rotating hand sketch. So there we have it, a five keyframe rotating hand and two painted sketches. Overall it was about a 45 minute study. Not an overly long one for the first video, but one that's enough to grasp things a little bit more clearly when I'm drawing hands at these angles more. If you've enjoyed this video and you have something in mind that you'd love to me to make my next study. Please leave it in the comments below. If you'd like to follow along with my own study, please go ahead and send it my way when you're done. Um, I'd love to see what you guys work on. You can tag me on Instagram or on Twitter. Those are probably the easiest places to send images through. And I hope to see you guys next time and all work towards growing our own art skills. Mm -hmm.